Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn Modern Day Mod here today on the channel. We're going to be starting a brand new series. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. Okay, so before we get stuck into the campaign map, I just want to go to my custom rules here. And I want to firstly disable NATO as I think it's just... A little bit too overpowered in this mod. So disabled NATO, yes. And we also want to disable the EU to make it um, easier. And also allow other countries to go around and expand and conquering. Oh, and this one as well. Take over faction leadership. Let's block that. We don't want that to happen. Whoever makes the faction should be the leader. All right, then. Let's load on in now, shall we? So we're going to be starting things off. In 2017, we also are using Millennium Dawn Chaos. So, we're playing as you-know-who. You can imagine the objectives for this series. Alright, so first up, we are Orthodox Christian nationally, which is interesting. Um, could go to like a pluralist society, potentially. Our... Economy is in a stagnation, so we definitely want to try and get that to at least stable growth. We have 802 political power, so I think, so I think it's worth spending that. Yikes, we're currently 8 on the rampant corruption section. We want to try and get that all the way down to negligible eventually. So we do have international bankers being one of the major factions and players here. Along with the farmers and the oligarchs. I wonder if we can change that potentially to like the military industrial complex, maybe even small businesses. All right, government wise, we currently have a large civil service administration. We do have a sizable military spending, which is quite nice. We have high police and intelligence funding. We actually have decent higher education focus. We have basic health clinics and we have a minimum pension for elderly and the dis Yes, um, a semi-consumption economy. Okay, we could go with a mixed economy. Mandatory service, we have 276 pop. And a voluntary service for women. Limited interventionalism, interventionalism regional interventionalism. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth doing that just yet. Officer military school. Ooh, this actually might be good. Officer Military Academy. That's probably smart. Defense, just generic. And we'll keep an eye on those eventually. So, how are our finances going? So, we probably could put the corporate tax up slightly. It's not terrible. Maybe we really try and boost this up. Okay, national focus-wise... Where do we even begin? Um, so we don't need a lot of this Western NATO stuff because NATO doesn't exist in this alternative timeline. Role playing after World War II, it's been disabled. Um, I don't even know wh where to begin. We can't even go down that far there. No, we don't want to do any of this stuff just yet. We don't need to hold an election. Alright. I have to have a think about it. Maybe I'll come back to it. Alright, decisions wise. Oh, we can actually demand the return of this. Yikes. We don't want to retire him. Okay. We can recognize all this stuff. Alright, intelligence wise. God, we don't even have five civilian factories, yikes. Only two research slots. So what do we even have? So in the 6570s, we just had this variant. So in 2005, we have the Vepar, which is a ball pop. Okay. The M4 WAC-47. That's the 2015. So maybe we do eventually get that. Support equipment, infantry. Okay, this is like, is that a Carl Gustav? I actually don't know what that is. 
Vehicles wise, we currently have the BRDM twos. Yikes! We want to try and get some better quality tanks. We currently got the T eighty UK, the T sixty four BM, the BTR nineties, and the BTR fours. We should be able to rely on a Western Lend least you'd hope. We haven't even got like a mobile artillery. Yikes! Man pads. We do have a basic man pad. Naval wise as well. I don't even know what we go with. I, I imagine just submarines. We're going to have such limited construction and such limited abilities to focus on a navy and an air force. Yikes. I think we just focus on the air force and maybe negate the navy. I didn't look this specifically. Helicopters. We're better off just getting... Better quality MiGs. Oh my god, we can't even produce the MiG 23s. Yikes. We can produce the Sus though. I don't even know if there's a point of getting any of this stuff. Alright, I think we go with neural networks. Probably that, maybe. Because it will help our production efficiency cap and research speed. Ideally, if we could somehow unlock more research slots that's going to be the major thing i think we go with construction one so we can improve the methods and material to allow us to construct buildings both civic and militarily all right let's have a look at our basic units so there's actually a fair few divisions so what do these guys currently have just like a default template actually might be better off to look somewhere else so we do have a tank variant we've even got the mobile Amphibious units. I guess they come from Odessa. Alright, we have 747 main battle tanks. 187 BMPs. Or is this lumped in with this? 1.4k. Self-propelled arty. So not a terrible stockpile. 14k small arms. I don't believe we're currently at war, are we? With some of the eastern territories here. No. No. Actually, speaking of territories, can I just have a look to see if there's anyone we can... Oh, yeah, so we can release territory to Romania. These two separatist states. Okay. Uh, we can add that at a later date. We do not have any... ...stuff here because we gave it up. <laughs> Alright, well, let's start off with... Getting civilian industry. Oh my god, two out of five. Where is our best civilian? Oh wow, it's actually in the far east. That's annoying. Near Severodonetsk in the north here. Kupiansk. Okay, so I guess we... Uh, I guess we... I don't know. It's like, is it worth? Because we could lose it. <laughs> Even though we don't have better stuff here. We're better off uh, building it down in the south. Just in case we get swarmed. Yeah. Alright, I think we I think we try and build it up through the middle here. Oh god. And then what we'll do is we'll go with military. We also want to try and get an office sector to get us more money as well. So we can set all this stuff up a bit later. Alright, let's have a look at our units. So, we currently have 53 divisions. Not too shabby. Actually, that's quite a lot. That's more than what I anticipated. I thought they'd have a lot less. 301 battalions. So, let's sort by some of our best units here. So, they are operating with the Vepar. Okay. How do I go back to this? Let's have a look at some of these motorized. So, you're using two BT-90s. So, they're not that, like, well-equipped. Okay. Maybe they need to load in. I was curious to see if we're using these guys as logistics, more or less. And equipment. Okay. So, not too bad. Alright, Navy-wise, <laughs> we've got one frigate. And one Corvette currently sitting in Odessa. 
Oh my god, air? We do not have an air force? Oh, we do. Just not many. Just none deployed. We have four, uh, we have 21 4th gen STKs. We got some... Sus, 31. We do have 37 MIGs. 37 Sus. And we actually have two maritime patrol units. Alright, nice. Okay, well, let's continue on. Now we have a... Bit of a basis. Okay. So, unfortunately here, it looks like we've had to push back. Oh, so I guess it just like instantly happened super quick. Well, thankfully I didn't buy those. Civilian factories there. Alright. Okay. So, we're going to go with... A non-aggression pact with Poland. And tech tree wise, we're going to found the NABU. Founding and launching the Anti-Corruption Bureau. Was one of the requirements set by the IMF and the European Commission. So we don't need to worry with that because that's not a thing. Okay, so this will allow us to go from... 8 to 7. So that should help quite a bit. So, although we are technically not at war, we are having border conflicts against them. So they're going to start chipping away at us. Interesting. So that's how they simulate this. But for all intensive purposes, it's not a hot war here. So we will be skirmishing over here. Which is annoying. It will trickle down some of our logistics and supplies. As long as we can build up a strong and formidable base. Maybe even pick up some alliances as well before 2020. But the thing is, overall, it's not just we're dealing with one state in this game. It's the entirety of CSTO. Okay, so we have founded the NABU. That's now complete. We're also going to reform the judis do I can't even speak properly. The judicial judicial system. Oh god, the current court system is not able to effectively ca carry out the penalty imposed on it. So. This will give us nice daily political power, stability, and affect our corruption. It is urgent to build a legal and democratic state. Nice. Good job. I would like to get an intelligence agency, but that's going to take a little bit. Diplomacy-wise, the states, Bulgaria, Georgia, Romania, love us. Uh, Trade-wise... Seven petroleum, nine light metals, rubber. Yeah, the thing is, we're going to really struggle on this as we're not going to be able to use our civilian factories to bring in resources because we just don't have enough. Okay, those civilian factories are coming in nice. All right, production-wise, we're currently making one BTR-90 a week. Two IVFs. We've got some convoys. All right, the judicial system is now done. Yeah, just sort of trading and annoying supplies back and forth. We've got no units in basic training, which is I think is fine because we've got a fair few. Like 55 is quite a bit. Just making sure we can build up the logistics is the main thing. But this is going to be a super hard campaign. I never said it was going to be easy. Okay, more border conflicts. I wish I could see more or less how much we're sort of trading back here and forth. Now, I was thinking if there actually wasn't going to be conflict here, because I didn't know it would actually erupt that much, we could maybe look to carve out some other territory over here. Um, like, we could take half of Poland. Oh, okay. 
We ran out of political power, yikes. Because we're trying to boost our relations with the US and Romania. Alright, skirmishing is still continuing here on the border. Oh, I saw these actively firing. No, they're just training on the border. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Uh, nothing's happening over here. There's no skirmishing down here or anything, which is surprising. This little slither. Okay. We're actually winning over here. Nice, we no longer get the effects from that now. Oh, here we go. So this is probably going to start to escalate now. A full-scale war is probably about to er erupt. 5th of September 2017, so things are starting to get a little bit more heightened in the area. Trade still shocking. I don't even know that construction. Yikes. Not having any allies here is probably what's going to cost us. We still currently have 48% Western Outlook, 23% Emerging, 24% Non-Aligned, 5% something else. Alright, still skirmishing on the border. Greece declares war upon Turkey, oh my god. China and Mongolia. Wait, so, oh my god, okay. Over that doesn't draw us in somehow. I think it was this China, actually. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Interesting, alright. Just need to wait for our own focus tree. That's now done. Now, does that mean... It's a proper war. Okay, it still hasn't popped up here. Maybe it's that we can actually call this now. Now that we've done that. However, we are actually... Getting some stuff here. So what was that? Yes, yeah, so the Republic of China, Taiwan is sending us... Military aid, which is nice. Poland is guaranteeing our independence. Romania and Spain. We do have a non-aggression pact with Poland currently. We are currently going with Western Doctrine now. I want to read the specifics of that. The West has supported us for many years. It is time to look to them for more guidance and improve relations with the West. The Western doctrines present us... Presented to us. To be more appealing. Minus five euro skepticism. So because the European Union doesn't exist, I don't know what that's really going to do. It might overall get us more support. 19% stability. I've actually got decent war support. 246 manpower. We probably can get a fair bit. We're building up our military and civilian sector as well, of course. Okay. This year war is uh, usually hotly contested. Last time I saw this, they actually navally invaded from the west. Let's have a look. Oh, the Greeks have lost 17k to 15k Turks. That has now been complete. Unfortunately, we still don't have this under our control. 
deal with the oligarchs. Finally. The oligarchs are a plague on our great country. The lack of merit in most offices. Oh my god. Has caused... Uh, yes, yes, yes. It is in our best interest to deal with them. So, it will whittle down the non-aligned movement even more. More stability, more war support and construction speed. Oh! What's going on in the Balkans? These guys usually beat them. Uh, okay. They're doing some stuff down here. Oh! What do you know? <laughs> oh my god. It's all popping off now. So these islands here, you forget that they own them. Okay. So they just got instantly puppeted. Are they emerging? No, they're western somehow. Okay. Little bit of stuff going on in South America. The Chinese-German War. Why is Germany at war with China? What a bizarre statement. Okay. What else is sort of going on? The Axis is still doing their thing. Little skirmishes here. Nice. Oh, Georgia has declared war upon South Ossetia. Oh, wow. Oh my god, they're about to get puppeted. Because they're backing them. Oh my god, no. Georgia, no. Yikes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's bad for us because they basically we just basically got another country we're gonna have to deal with. Oh my god. Brazil is at war with Bolivia. What's going on in the States? Oh, he's in charge. Brazil declare war upon Paraguay? Yikes. Yeah, it's annoying that these little skirmishes here are just um Whittling down our surprise, the supplies. Oh, here we go. This is um, probably what's going to kick things off. The main revolution. That you guys already know about. Alright, here we go. This uh, could very well spark things off a bit earlier. This is a flashpoint. Paraguay was puppeted by Brazil. Interesting. Okay. Saudi declares war upon Jordan. What? No, everything actually seems to be alright. Yikes. I thought things could have gotten a lot worse. Jordan is sending us military aid. We're going to go with economic recovery program. Because our economy is in a slump policies of the old model needs to be changed and we need to recover it for the sake of our people we get an additional two civil industry two building slots minus 15 billion opinion of international bankers changes okay nice alrighty 22nd of May 2018 I think we're doing okay. We're progressing well. Oh my god. What is Pakistan doing? I love Pakistan. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's not good for them. What's happening here? Alright. He's currently going with economic recovery. Oh, it's gone back up a bit. Nah, there's no point of changing this sort of stuff. Oh my god. 
She wait, it's all happening now. What is this? Oh, okay. Sepska. So it's it's all it's all popping off. Yikes. There's no like factions arising from this. No, not yet. That was down here in my neck of the woods. What was that? That was that was Indonesia and East Timor? <laughs> or Timor Leste now? Yeah. yeah. That's fascinating. My granddad fought in the battle for Timor. Took over some airfield. <laughs> Pretty far away from Tassie is where I'm from. I don't know about Tassie. Like, Tassie's... A, so, I'm surprised... I don't know why there's, like... I've mentioned this before. So, there should be a bit more of a gap there. I don't know who... Like, Tasmania... I don't even think he even has, like, one civilian factory. I do quite like that that should be a little bit further down. That should be here more. I do like that they put the um, King Island and stuff there. So Hobart is the capital, Launceston, and then Bur I don't know why Burnie. Is that because this is like up here? That's so bizarre. Like I think Devonport is actually bigger. They actually have split it though as well. And it, it probably should be like basically this should all just be that should be a different tile. Like it, like that's a tile which should probably end there. I don't know. I'm just being pedantic. <laughs> <laughs> about where I'm from. I'm sure, like... Eh, I don't know about... They probably... Uh, Sydney is probably fine. It's probably alright. What even is going on down here? We're down under. Malcolm Turnbull's in charge. We currently have a base in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, the United States has military bases in Australia. Oh, really? Yeah, we got one bank smack here, and then it's mostly up here in Darwin. All right, what's going on in Kiwi land? Bill English is in charge. The UK is giving them independent, uh, supporting their independence. That's interesting. Same with us. Okay. Right. Let's get back over here. Oh, so we've completed closer ties with the West. Oh my God, poking the bear. So this is going to be a massive injection or flashpoint. So they took it in 2014. We're going to demand it back. Will they give it to us? Yikes. Only time will tell. At the moment it is a dagger. It actually makes like it actually looks more like an island here, which is what it which really what it is. Oh, hang on there. Oh, they actually take... Oh, 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 oh. Hang on a minute. They're battling it out. Even though we're justifying against them. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to capitulate before we even have an opportunity. Oh my god. Why are we supporting them? Alright. Things are about to get spicy up in here. It will help our ship capacity though, I suppose. <laughs> if we can get it. Alright, so when, how long is this justification going to take? It's finished. Okay, so we are at war with them. Has it blown out? So we're going to hit them from the other side. We're going to help our... Moldovan comrades. Oh, and they gave it to us. No way. They fear the power of us in Moldova. They actually gave it to us. Unbelievable scenes. And now we're... We haven't lost a single person. We're, we're going to be able to try and take this. Actually split them in half. 
Poland is cancelling military aid. They're about to capitulate now anyway. Oh, I can't believe we've got this now. That's actually massive. Alright, so... Moldova took one state and have annexed their territory. Nice. So they all have that. Oh, wow. So 2018, he backed down. What a chad. Okay, so... Uh, what are we going with now, then? Well, that was easy. <laughs> Just needed to ask. Didn't need to take it by military force. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're going to privatize state enterprises. So state-run corporations are failing in the economic model. It's far better to let private countries... Uh, what? Private companies uh, alleviate some of the stress. So... The international bankers gain more influence. Oligarchs lose. Because I think, yeah, I think we probably want to get rid of that at some point. All right. Nice. As we move on now to 2019. So we've had a short little war there. We've managed to retake the peninsula back as we move into January 2019. Okay, that's now complete. Now we're going to unite the opposition. So that will give us a change in popularity. Western, give us some more state stability. Oh, okay, what? They are currently stopping us from making positive changes here. They wish to see us align. It's time to show them the beauty of unity. Okay. So I wonder if we can actually... Is this what we're going to... Oh! Oh, well, they actually gave us this back as well. Oh, my God. Wait, is George... Oh, no, yeah, right. I was going to say, is Georgia back? No. Meanwhile, this is still going on here. Um, anything else that's going on interesting? Not at war for three months. Yeah, this is never going to end. China isn't going to capitulate Germany. <laughs> well, they're currently at war. 1k, 35k Egyptians. Yikes. Okay. We've got an aftermath here. Okay. Our position has forever remained clear. It is now time to officiate our reaction around the world. This focus will have its effects depending on what Russia does. Okay. If they're gonna... Hmm, maybe they can use it as justification. I don't know. V shall see. Currently holds 49%. Oh, okay, that's unfortunate. It slipped to stagnation. Oh, it's gone back up to crippling again. Is it because we allowed these territories to come back into the fold? Potentially. Alright, we're currently going with improved synthetic oil, which is going to take 99 days. We already went with construction 1, now construction 2, and excavation. Now that we've done some political stuff, Germany likes us, same with the states. We've got 8 civilian factories now, which we've improved. Currently getting rubber from India. And, oh god, it's just taking so long to get those civilian factories in. We've slimmed down our production quite a bit. And our recruitment and deployment. Our logistics still isn't the best. No huge factions have formed either just yet. 
just sort of seeing around the world. I feel like it's more so just like puppets and stuff. Emmanuel Macron is currently leading France. Theresa May. Oh! We just finished it. Did anything happen? Nope. But now, I think because we've ac we're actually starting to shore up, there's still like two disputed states here. We might be able to get better quality relations with the states. So, let's go with... Whoops, I was just here on it. US non-NATO ally. Although we wish to remain out of the major power blocks, it may be worth while courting Washington. So we are not isolated from the world and the global markets. The ability to name, remain neutral and economic has been proven over and again and again by the Swiss. <laughs> There's no reason why we can't try it here. So what does this specifically do? Grants us pro-Western plus 20%. Joins the major non-NATO ally research group because there's currently one now between Britain and Poland for like intelligence sharing replaces east and west we get more daily support so hmm, it's going to be interesting to see where things sort of lie once we get to 2020 what Poland what are you doing Poland has declared war upon Lithuania <gasps> We currently support Poland. Oh my god. Duda! <laughs> Wants to reform <laughs> the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Oh my god. He was right after all. <laughs> oh. Um, okay. I, uh, I hope no one comes in. So, it's Saudis? <laughs> a lot of countries have so many bases there. Nice, we completed the non-NATO ally. We've got a non-aggression pact with Singapore. So, has that changed? So, he accepted it, <laughs> which is interesting. They always seem to be quite passive. I can't wait to see how sort of this playthrough goes. We don't have any intelligence of what they're doing. Alright. We are currently... Improving... Our industrialization. Our country relies heavily... On its industry base and... For the Treaty of Vilnius, Lithuania was puppeted. The major cities all contain industry, yada, yada, yada. Oh, okay. We must keep this trend from elsewhere. That's interesting. The Turks might get involved off that. So... <laughs> Who's this? Why does he look so young? I think they actually flipped non-aligned, though, which is surprising. I was not expecting or anticipating that. National spirit. I don't even know if there is. What the? Hell? India declares war upon Karachi step. Oh. No? Because these guys are currently battling out. How are the wars going? The big wars. Yeah, so they're involved with this. Oh my god. Greeks have lost 56k to the Turks, 117. They're still battling it out. Oh my god. Beating them 7 to 1. What is happening? Oh, they took the cyanide. Huh. Interesting. Industrialization is now being complete. Now we can go with constitutional reforms. But at the moment, we're slowly but surely building up. Fixing our governmental and institutions. Austria declared war upon Switzerland. <laughs> Wasn't there a quote about like them being neutral? What is happening? Western 
They went non-aligned. Oh my god. Belgium, France, the Netherlands, Poland are all sending stuff. Switzerland is guaranteeing the independence of Liechtenstein. Oh, they went full on like national. <laughs> okay. Maybe. How the hell are they going to fight over that? Trading mountain passes back and forth. Oh my god. Crazy scenes here. Alright, this constitutional reform coming in. We'll get us that better quality political power. But yeah, we're just slowly but surely building up. Um, reforming anything. I can't believe they gave us back the peninsula. That's huge. Like, can we actually see what we have here? Like, massive ports. Okay, I was going to say, do they actually give us some ports? Give us some ships? I suppose we can go with closer ties with the EU. Even though they don't exist. Okay, currently going with Decryption 5. But this is what sort of the first episode of a Hoi campaign is. So that we're surely building up your economy, your military, production, civil, military factories and whatnot. Fixing up your government. Trying to whittle down some of these bad statistic and internal faction modifiers. Things are looking loads better. We've got nine factories. Especially, like, we had, like, we only had, like, four construction... Uh, civilian... No, we actually had just f four factories in total. Now we've got nine. Yeah. Our logistics isn't the best, though. Could, coulda, woulda, shoulda been better. Alright, so... 7th of December now, 2019. Will things change? Coming up in 2020, only time will tell. The main thing is February. Two years from now. But now we're in the 20s, it might change again, who knows. Okay, January 2020, nothing's kicked off. I think it's time to tidy this up a bit. Alright, so it's been three years since we started. Um, we've managed to actually take some territory back. They haven't been too hyper-aggressive against us, but I think we're at a position now that our armies have got some additional experience. We've actually lost a little bit of battalions there, technically. But I think it's probably time to go out and take some territory and then maybe make factions via puppeting, because I actually don't know. Hang on, is there... Um, if I just type in a faction, matter of fact. Is there a... Uh, create a faction in the tech tree? No. We might be better off to do it by the puppet, getting a puppet. Because I think we're going to make plans and preparations to go to war with Moldova. Uh. Oh, here we go. There's something here. It's way down here. So it is the Baltic Sea Union. So that's a fair bit down here, though. Requires Baltic Sea dialogue. So they so there's what so you can do it. So maybe we should look to that. So hang on. Because funnily enough, we've actually sort of survived poking the bear and a lot of this other stuff. So hang on. So maybe we should go down that eventually. Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Belarus, Moldova. We'll get the option. So how about we just have a look at that. So they ain't joining. They might. Uh, we do have pretty good relations. Okay, we're currently going closer ties. Um, 
I don't know if that really matters in the end. This is not good. That's gone down again. We need it. That's gone back up to nine, which is annoying as. Oh, I do want to try and create the intelligence agency, definitely. Um, is this okay? Wait, is it blocking? Oh, that's infuriating. We can't get rubber because we can't trade few through the um. Oh, what the? It is not the Dardanelles. What the hell is this called? The boss for a straight. It's just a straight here. I can't think of the name of it. Okay. Um, I feel like we need support equipment in here. Like we've only got five military factories, right? So I think priorities in the BTRs is good and the utility vehicles. We can't prioritize an air force. We could maybe buy some. Yeah. That's always an issue. Also, we can't even get the rubber to support it anyway. Uh, convoys. Well, do we even... No, we got 200. We might as well do that. I think submarines are probably the play. What can we even get? Attack sub, missile sub. Because... They're probably the best to get. Just a missile sub. And... We can rearrange this. Yikes. Oh, we've actually got some command power. Let's spend that then. Okay. Oh, where is my navy? So, we're going to put it here. In Sevastopol. Well, I always, is it Sevastopol or is that like a British thing to say? Because I've heard them say it like that. Okay, uh, we will need to keep some units here. But everyone else... So... Let me reorganize. Oh my god, I, don't, I nearly disbanded them, yikes. I need to unassign them. Let's unassign you. We don't need to be on this border up here. A little bit of overkill. Oh god, it actually, you know what? Let's get rid of it all. We'll redo it from scratch. Okay, so none of it's, oh no, there is some set up. Right, what is it then? Bear with me, fellas, because we're going to set up for this war against Moldova. All right. So, 53 divisions in total. So, I, I think it's like 18 per section. Oh, no. I, yeah, let's just roughly get... I think it's 18. I could be wrong. So, let's get 18... I don't think this war is going to be too costly yet. Yeah, then we'll get you in. And then we'll get the other 18. And then this is more than enough, you'd think. And we'll leave the 17 to be split between two. So let's go like eight. And... Uh, is it five? No, all these blokes. Perfect. Alright, let's get moving. So let's make a front line all the way around here. We might even get, potentially, Romania to help us out. Okay, let's move here. The only problem is if we get surprised attacked, that's going to be a big yikes. Okay, airfields. Oh my god. Okay. Let's get everyone in. Let's operate over here. Let's go with air supremacy. Alright. Let go. Let's go, 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 go. And because this is going to be a surprise attack. Whoa! Iran declares war upon the United States. What? 
How has that happened? Oh my god. He's gone and done it. <laughs> How are they... Actually, to be fair, they do have a fair few actual... Like, I know they've got bases everywhere, but like... They actually have core territory here that they own in the sense that like they actually can navally invade from the Kuwait base. <laughs> Is there one down here as well? Yeah, they can navally push for in from Bahrain. Okay. Um, do we go with NATO standards? Attempting to... It it's not going to matter though. Because NATO doesn't exist. Maybe we go with foreign policy. and Because we, we might actually kind of want to go down here. Um, was there anything else over here potentially? New planes, better stuff. How are we going? Debt wise. Yeah. It's like is it just is it worth producing our own planes and shit? Or should we just try and buy it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we do go with this. It'll give us 150 political power anyway. Okay, we've made that slightly better. Uh, doctrines. Oh my god. I don't even know where we start. No. It's because we've gone down mass assault. I think it's um, combined arms. That's what we want. We want to be down here. Okay. Foot infantry. I don't even know. Probably this one looks better. Rapid strikes? Because usually this, the combined arm stuff, is so much better. Maybe we do go over this side. Network. And then we can go down this. Yeah, I think that's what I want. So we're going to switch the line to network. Can't even do any of this stuff anyway. How far away until this justification is complete? Okay, 20th of March, 2020. Alright, and we're slowly but surely making plans and preparations to go against Moldova. I think that's a good start. What is their government? Well, it's currently emerging anyway. Volunteers donate radios. Okay, that was very nice of them. I just hope no one backs them. That's the only thing. Also, with this territory, do I puppet them? Do I, I don't know. How are we going fuel-wise? Okay. Nice. They've been properly recruited. Insufficient resources. Yeah, we. I don't even know how you get rubber. Is there something we can construct? Uh, no, not by the look of it, really. You think there would be a building there? Just need to wait for this to be done soon. We're going to be able to get an intelligence agent. Um, no, I want an air force commander over the naval. Speaking of the naval, I don't. Oh, okay. Or oh, they—they. They, I was going to say the navy could maybe come and help. No, I don't know if the corvette of the or the frigate is really going to help that much oligarchs ask for a tax decrease 150 political power how long do we have to we're about to get can we just wait 12 days and then we're gonna get 150 and then we go no and then it's not gonna matter <laughs> hey we might better game them here just wait I just hope it doesn't pop a go away so hang on Zimbabwe was puppeted, okay. And then, oh, it disappeared. Oh, it worked out all right, because it paid anyway. Improving relations stopped, it's all right. Um, is there something that gives me rubber? No, maybe just getting a bit of fuel. Being somewhat independent. Okay, so. We can. So, this, so, we, so that we can actually do that if we want. 
I don't know if I want to just yet. All right, what's over here? Yeah, upgrading all this stuff is probably better. What's this? The Wall Project. We may never know our great neighbors to the east infringe upon our borders. So, land fort construction speed, coastal construction speed. It's probably not a bad idea, but the thing is, it's such an investment. Yeah, maybe we go with this. 5% war support, and then we can get better... Like, yeah, we can reform... The forces and the stuff here, so let's go with this. That seems a bit smarter. Oh, we can get an agent. Who have we got? Olis. Miron. Uh, I don't know. Probably her, actually. She seems like she has better traits. All right, we'll have this war here today. Hopefully, she'll be able to wrap it up. It shouldn't escalate too much. I didn't want to guarantee... Conquests here today because I didn't know what was going to happen. So let's go, 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 go. Uh, that's no change. Let's go with this construction speed. That's not what. Okay. Air wings with no mission. Air superiority, close air support. Right. Let's see how we go. Hopefully no one joins in. Okay. Pushing here all right. So we kind of baited them into taking their neighbor. Whoa, okay, nice. Finland, Austria, Belgium, Sweden. All of these fantastic countries want to send aid. All right, make sure this tank gets around the back. Now that we've got, got troops operating, our fuel is going down massively. We've managed to lose zero <laughs> and knock out 567 of them. Oh, they're about to capitulate. Nice. Moldova has capitulated. 35 artillery pieces, 23 BMPs. And, oh, we just straight up annexed them. Because it was a conquer. One interesting... The United States is improving relations with us. Yeah, so we don't even have to negotiate with Romania. The thing is, right... Oh, Belarus is... Oh, they're not in. They left CSTO, justifying a war against Poland. Have any other nations left? No. Okay. Armenia's not in. Um, or, oh, yeah, so we can't pop at them. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. All right, well, unfortunately, on that note, it is time to wrap things up here today. Hope you've enjoyed episode one of the Hearts of Iron 4 series. Stay tuned for episode two coming at the exact same time tomorrow as we move into 2122. Um, I think, I, I would like to maybe, get, we can get some territory, military factories, civilian factories, like, from these other nations, but we might actually go with this and try and get in the lines and see who joins. Um, we'll see how we go, but we're in a really good position. We've managed to take back the peninsula, which is huge. Um, still slowly but surely building up our production, construction, and trade. Still have to deal with these little states here, and um, actually 20% there. I don't know how they're going to do. A little bit of intervention in the Caucasus down there. The states are distracted, but overall, it's just those two major factions. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic resty day. My name has been Simpsy, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much.